Hello everybody, it's Marty Smith with FullTiltPokerReport.com and PokerCalculatorReport.com. I was testing some software here the other night. Happened to find Michael Craig at a $100 one-table sit-and-go tournament and was recording while testing the software and saw him make this somewhat of an odd move. He has 1,285 chips left. He's under the gun plus one position-wise. However, there are seven players left. This is usually a hand, maybe like a mid-pair, ace-king, ace-queen suited possibly. The blinds are still only 80 and 160, so I don't actually think it was a great move with any of those hands. He could have been targeting a particular player who might have been over-aggressive or over overly loose. I didn't really get the gist of that uh, because I hadn't been watching the table uh, when I saw this hand happen. The problem with doing something like this with 1,285 chips left is that if you get called, you are likely behind. If you don't get called, you're only going up 220 chips, which to me is kind of a premature move for that type of hand from this position. If Michael Craig had been sitting here or here, I would say that was a, quite an acceptable move. But he's got to get through. Look at one, two, three, four, five players. Two of them are short stacks in the tournament already. There are still seven players left in this tournament. Again, I, I found it a bit odd and paused to watch the hand play out here. And we'll just run it through. A decent sized stack here on the button. He has 3,000 chips. If he calls and loses, he's going to be with left with about 1,800, and he does call. So let's see what happens here. Small blind goes out. Big blind calls. So, wow. And look at that. Yates hit a set, and he takes a huge pot. Now, let's pause that for a second here, because now this player, well, is in great position to win this. And this is exactly what I was uh, telling you about in terms of uh, getting called. He got actually got called twice, both by better hands. I actually don't think this is a great move here. Had he any type of pair or a solid ace, maybe ace-queen, ace-king is probably acceptable here as well, but king-queen offsuit, no. You are likely dominated if you get called. He was behind both of these callers and uh, taking down a huge pot. That is absolutely not a profitable move. And this is a sit and go tournament where you would think some of these pros, especially the ones involved with the uh, full tilt poker book, would know better. The book I'm talking about, all of these pros were involved here. Michael Craig actually edited this book. It's basically tournament poker. I happen to queue up everyone's name here in shark scope wanted to check out some of their stat uh, we'll get to michael craig in a second here but uh it wasn't too impressive here andy block okay actually he has made a profit so he's a solid player online chris ferguson doesn't play too many or, or sit and go tournaments and he's still probably still on that bankroll building kick and uh, hasn't done very well david gray's only played one gavin smith look at this has lost $128,000 playing sit-and-go tournaments. And that's not just a few big ones. He's played 1,700 of them. Mike Matisau lost 40000 Phil Gordon has lost ten grand. First has lost 9000 Wow, these guys are writing a tournament strategy book. Something to think of. I put in my stats here, just to be fair. Uh, turtle knife here. I play much lower stakes, of course, but I have eked out a profit. It's much tougher on full tilt, I will tell you. Uh, here's my ID on stars, where uh, compared to full tilt, where I'm 6%, stars and 22%. I find it tough on full tilt. Some other players obviously are finding it tough on full tilt. I actually think that Gavin Smith just plays around. Don't think he's uh, serious when he comes in here and plays, but I haven't seen him play these sit and goes either, so I can't really advise on his strategy. But let's take a closer look. Michael Craig plays $100 average stake, so he goes in the big money entries, probably with you know some of the money he's won for multi-table tournaments, which is a fair enough strategy. But look at, guys, this is the zero line here. Everything below is a loss, everything above is a profit. If you If you take a look at this graph, it's very, very erratic. I don't think this is a sound strategy at all. I really don't think he's exerting enough patience, enough calculated strategy. I really think, even though that Michael Craig was involved in writing the full tilt poker strategy guide, 
do well with a book like uh, Colin Moshman's Sit and Go Strategy and as well Sit and Go Wiz. Uh, I really think Michael Craig would probably do well by having a look at that because he has played 870 games, 100 bucks a pop, and now he is profitable at 5%, but his total profit is only $248. That's based on entry fees of approximately 87000 Wow. Not the way to play sit and, go, sit and goes, guys. So you might be getting advice from some pros here. I would take a second look. Now, in going through these authors, there was one very impressive statistic. That by a guy named Keith Sexton. Look at this graph. Here is a guy who absolutely knows what he's doing, plays the same way, has figured out a system, and has absolute control of his own self when he's playing. Keith Sexton, obviously a guy you should actually be emulating in terms of sit-and-go strategy. Look at this. This guy is virtually untiltable game after game. He builds his bankroll virtually straight up solid player if you're going to be watching a pro at full tilt poker trying to get some tips here's a guy you got to be watching anyway guys it's marty smith for poker calculator report.com there's a great review on my site for tournament indicator which i use in sit and go tournaments as well if you want to subscribe to shark scope it is a great service when you are up against certain competition you want to do some research on them sit and go whiz there's a review as well on poker calculator report for sit and go whiz and you might be interested in that kind of a practice module for your game in the meantime hey do a search for keith sexton on full tilt and watch a pro a true pro play the game ciao